Hello, and welcome to another satisfactory video. Today we're going to be going over some of the various building controls and keyboard shortcuts that might not be so obvious. So, if you like what you see, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I plan on making many more of these video guides in the future. So first let's start with our build menu. So we press Q to access the build menu, and that brings up everything that we're able to build based on what you have unlocked. So we have our nice tabs over here, we have a search bar up here, very nifty. Also, if you're ever confused or need a reminder of what certain controls are, take a look down here and you'll be able to see some contextual controls based on the menu that you're in or, you know, if you're building or not. So obviously left mouse button selects. What we can also do is we can press this little plus sign or right click to add to a to-do list and that's going to give you a little shopping list over here for what materials are needed to build each thing. You can go plus 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 or you can highlight and enter a number if you want a large number and don't want to click 20 times. And you can also clear the list here. It will persist while you're out of this menu, and then you just press Q if you want to clear it. Or if you build one of them, if you build whatever item, it will actually tick down. So see it went to 19, 18, 17. So that's pretty nifty. Also in the build menu, you can set up your hotbars. So if you go to something like this, and let's clear our list, you can see I'm on hard bar 3. If I go down to like architecture, I could set roofs to number 8 down there. And you actually have access to 10 different hotbars. To switch between hotbars, you hold the Alt key and scroll with your scroll wheel. And you have access to 10 different hotbars. I don't really use them that much, but I know a lot of people get a lot of good use out of them. Another feature that I often get questions a lot about during my live streams is using the middle mouse button as your little eyedropper. So if I press F, that's going to bring up my deconstructor. And then anything that I have highlighted, if I press middle mouse button, it's actually going to select it for me. And then I can, you know, build to my builds to my heart's content. And then if I want to switch to foundations, I just press F to clear and go back to the dismantler, press middle mouse again, and then that'll get me more foundations. Also, a new feature that they introduced with update 5 is zooping. So to switch your build mode, you, press, you can either press R, and for foundations there's default, which is just one click and it places it down. Zoop, which is great. It allows you to multi-build on a flat plane. And for the foundations, you, have, you also get this vertical option, which allows you to kind of build these towers if you need to. They also work on walls. There's this floating wall here. Whoops, I left that there by mistake, but it was helpful because we, uh, we didn't have to go back into the build menu. So walls also only go between default and zoop, but you can zoop up and sideways. You can zoop a maximum of 10, 10 things. Let's get rid of that. If you want to switch between different items, you can also press E to quick switch, so for walls it's going to go between the 4 meter and the 1 meter. For foundations it's going to go between the 1, 2, and 4 meter. And for constructors it's actually going to go between assembler, manufacturer, and constructor. You can also press and hold E and that'll bring up this wheel that might bring up a couple of extra options. So you can go to the blender, you can quick switch between the liquid buildings. It also works with belts, so if I, if I grab a belt over here, I'm on two. I can switch to 
three, four, five, all the different belt levels. It even works with conveyor poles. So you could switch to conveyor pole, stackable pole, wall mount. There's not a wall. Here's a wall. And floor hole. So, quick switch, definitely very helpful. So, let's go back to those alternate build modes, though. For conveyor lifts, normally, what's going to happen is wherever you start, that's going to be the entrance. And wherever you end, that's going to be the exit. But, say I want to switch that around. You can also press R, and that'll set it to reversed. So we can have the output down low and the input up high. Pipes also have different build modes as well. So I have a couple of pipes set up here. So first we have auto. And then if I press R, it goes to auto, this auto 2D, which has a bit of a different look. Looks a little bit flatter. And then we also have noodle, which is a bit noodlier. has a bit of a less flat look. I think if I noodle like closer, it'll be a bit more obvious. And it's a bit more curvy. And then we also have there are four there are four build nodes for this. Horizontal to vertical. So this is actually gonna work two different ways. So you can have it go like this for an angle out like that. Then you can also go in the other direction for an angle like this. This is probably what you would want to have in this type of situation. If you want, um, you know, your pipes to be a, look a little bit straighter. Doesn't this look nice? This looks nasty. This looks nice. So let's also talk about our customizer. So we press X, that brings up our customizer menu. Um, you can also bring it up if you press Q and go to this other tab up here. But what it's going to do for you is it's going to allow you to paint stuff in different colors. So say I go to swatch 12 and make this yellow. If I go to swatch 1, I can make it blue. And there's no cost to painting items. You can also paint walls. We got our zoop open. Paint our walls whatever color we want. There's also a couple default swatches up here. If I go and change... If I go and edit any of these, so say I edit this one, I'm gonna save this color because I like it. Um, if I change it to, let's say this icky, icky color, Watch, these are going to change color once I change that. So you have 15 things that you can, you can set. So if you want to like change a blue to a different blue, you can. So let's edit this back and turn it back because I think I have stuff that's painted this way and I want it to still look like this. You can also change the materials of walls and foundations. These are going to cost some materials based on what you're switching it from and to. So here's the concrete. I really like this concrete actually. So it looks very nice and basic. And then we can also switch these to concrete walls. And then something else you can do is you can't in the customizer, you can't change a wall to a different kind of wall but you can actually do that so if i go down here if i say i want to go to six which is a door if you hold control on a wall and click it's going to replace the wall for you which is pretty nifty it's going to retain its same color so like that's still blue that's still the foundation color but it's a nice way if you want to, you know, just encase your buildings with walls and then go back and decorate with some of the cool windows. So like if I 
It also works with windows, so any wall type thing, it's gonna work. Same with the conveyor, uh, the conveyor walls. You can do that too. Pretty nifty. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the search bar, which I use all the time. So if I press N, that's going to bring up the search bar. And you can just type whatever you want, assembler. Press enter and it will bring it up. Biomass burner. It will bring up whatever you need. Also, you can look at recipes for things. So, like, what's the solid biofuel recipe? It's going to bring up, you know, the parts in the uh, codex for you. There's also a search bar in here as well. Or if you want to say, like, hey, how do I make turbo motors? There you go. It'll also have your alternate recipes. You can add to a to-do list if you need to. Pretty nifty. Also, a lesser known thing is that there is a calculator in here, which is great for working on ratios. So I could do, you know, 60 divided by 20 is 3. Uh, 60 plus 60 no, times 60, 3600. Uh, plus 60 is 120, and you can do all all your basic uh, all your basic operations and it does work with the number pad that's normally what i use minus 60 i think that's the final operation that i didn't do so i hope you all found something interesting in this video or something that you might not have known um, i know a lot of these things are basic but you know just like when i figured out the <laughs> the control replace wall thing it changed entirely how i how i uh decorate my buildings which is which is great so i hope you found this useful i hope you found it helpful if you like what you saw be sure to subscribe i plan on making many more of these kinds of videos in the future and i also stream on twitch twitch.tv slash billy the door stop by if you have any questions or feel free to leave a comment down below and that's all for me, and take care.